Good Monday afternoon to you. I'm Mike Colombo. First here on News 11 at 4, a Mother's Day weekend crash kills a family of four from St. Louis. Police say the suspects were trying to escape police when the crash happened. News 11's Kelly Hoskins live at the crash site in West St. Louis. And Kelly, you spoke to the victim's family. Oh, Mike, that's absolutely correct. Uh, what a tragedy here. It all unfolded here in the 4200 block of Delmore. As you can see, uh, this makeshift memorial stands in honor of the four victims killed. People have been stopping by here all day, bringing teddy bears, flowers and balloons in honor of the victims. Uh, the victims family members say they want justice and the person responsible held accountable. I don't think no family will be able to even bear that, you know, even lose a four family members at once. The family identified the four adults as 56 year old Angelique Simmons, Piggy's mother, his sister, 34 year old Rhonda Simmons, and his two uncles, 47 year old Ethram Simmons and 34 year old Luther Simmons. I have to stay strong for my mom because that's what she would want me to do and stay strong for the family. And that's what I'm trying to do the best as I can. St. Louis City Police say it all unfolded Friday night in West St. Louis shortly after nine in the 4200 block of Del Mar Boulevard. Detectives tried to stop a stolen car. A license plate recognition system picked up the plate as stolen and the vehicle was wanted for multiple crimes. Police say someone in the Jeep had fired shots at another car earlier Friday. Authorities say the suspects were trying to elude police at a high rate of speed, but police say there was no pursuit. Interim Public Safety Director Dan Isom. We uh, don't have any information that the officers were pursuing the vehicle, um, but they did try to deploy spike strips to stop the field. The driver in that stolen vehicle hit a minivan carrying Piggy's seven family members. We tried to pull people over who are wanted for crimes, and even when attempting to do that, cars may flee just from the simple fact of trying to pull them over. Four Piggy's loved ones died. Three children, including his 15 year old daughter and two nieces were injured. For this just to happen, for them not even make it home, this, this hurts for everyone. This hits home. They should be here. Two 17 year olds were taken into custody, but the driver remains loose. The family wants someone held accountable. We're just gonna just wait for the investigation to get done because we know it's still under the need, need investigation. And hopefully everything does, we do get justice. That's what we're praying for and we're hoping for. You know, we don't want this to just be a slap on the wrist and that's it. Like, no, that's what anybody, someone had committed a crime, they should have faced the consequences of a crime. As far as uh, vehicle pursuits are concerned, uh, most uh, police departments um, try to um, restrict vehicle pursuits to uh, the most serious incidents. Um, but that doesn't mean that um, police departments don't attempt to pull over cars that are wanted for um, crimes. And so it is a, um, a very um, difficult um, call. A Piggy's 15 year old daughter and two nieces remain in the hospital. Their conditions are unknown at this time. Police are encouraging anyone with information in regards to this crash to know the whereabouts of that juvenile driver that remains at large to contact Crime Stoppers. Reporting live from West St. Louis, Kelly Hoskins, News 11.